Right guys, so we made it to the Westside VW car show in Chalfont, St. Peter. We are here in a massive field. This is, this is a cricket club, and we've got a massive collection of cars to look at. We've also brought quite a few of our own cars with us, but we'll get back to them later. Let's go around and have a look at some vehicles. So we just first come across this 190E. This looks absolutely wicked, I think. So you've got like the extended arches. I think this is a 2.5 lump, so this might be the Cosi lump. I might be wrong. Brad will correct me on that. Really clean, smoothed engine bay. Tubular exhaust manifold as well. That looks really nice. Then you've got these OZ dish wheels with the center locks. Look wicked, obviously Nankang semi-slicks. They've kind of made it like semi-track spec, which is nice. You've got bucket seats on the driver's side and everything else is just the leathers. So the back looks really aggressive as well. You've got the carbon gurney wing over the over the top of the spoiler there and you've got the downturn exhaust, which I'm a bit bit of a sucker for the downturn exhaust. That so looks really, really nice. Um, but yeah, overall it's a really nice looking car. Just spotted the Jap cars. There's not many here because there's a VW bag kind of scene, but there are a few. Obviously Mark 1, Miata, MX-5 basically. Chaser, R34. Mark IV Supra, R35 GTR, Evo, Lexus, and then a Subaru down the back there. I'm not gonna to talk too much about Jap cars because I always do that. Um, but yeah, let's carry on. So we seem to have found ourselves in the Audi section. We look down here, it's Audi's galore. We've got quite a few different, uh, different types obviously coming along. So we've got like, S4s, S3s, TTs, uh, RSs. Let's have a look. All right, so this is our good friend Marcus's B5 S4. Um, he's just got it back on the road, done a lot of work to it. So this being the B5 S4, this I believe is the 2.7 twin turbo. Now he's upgraded the front intercooler as you can see. I believe he's still waiting to get it mapped, but I know when this is going to be done, it's, it's going to be pretty fast. So we've also just supplied Marcus with these uh, really nice looking Rotiform ZMO M's uh, and these Nankang uh, AS2 tyres, uh, which he, I'll be honest, he had a set of pretty rago wheels on there before so this this kind of makes the car now uh, it does sit really really nice on these and then obviously you can see he's got the porsche uh, i think maybe six pot yeah six pot calipers um which is obviously going to help him stop and he's got a lot, a lot more power so it's a really nice setup 
I think that kind of the, the look of the wheel and the, and the brake setup does suit it, definitely. Again, I said it in the last video, if you know me, you know I like estate cars. And again, these have always been uh, kind of a bucket list car. The S4, the RS4 in this shape, it, it's, it's one of those ones you just always wanted. Uh, so I, I rate him for having this car, I really like it. So just seen this, I think this is a, oh, this is a Lotus Esprit, it's not a Lamborghini. Lotus Esprit. Um, I think they had this on uh, Top Gear at one point. But yeah, this is this is the one that people always get confused with the Lamborghini. Pop-up headlights, rear engine. We bagged this on 3H, I believe. Um, it's got 6AD splits, 22 inch, and he's painted the centers pink. They were all silver before, so obviously chrome lip and then silver centers. But he's painted the centers pink, which is brave. But on a white car, it looks all right. I don't mind it. He's got this uh, like pink accents up the front, the bars in the grill, the big kidney grills, and the, uh, the pink Alpina logo. It's an Alpina body kit, so it looks really nice. So you can't really walk past this without saying anything. This is Rocky Patel's Hurricane, twin turboed with the back of the car missing. And he's also gold plated most of it. So you've got gold plated turbo housing, crash bar, titanium exhaust, engine. Uh, if you get to be roll of that, that'll look cool. But yeah, this thing is mental. I think it's like 2000 horsepower, something silly like that. Obviously he's also got a set of gold 6ADs. Splits as well by the looks of it. Forged proper lightweight, because so he, he does drive this car, I know that. And obviously he's wrapped it in this really nice satin purple colour. I'm sure you guys have seen this before, um, but again, you can't really walk past it without mentioning something. Another car that I actually really like, it's, a, it's the kind of car that you might like oil, it's kind of Marmite kind of car. But these cars are always known, obviously, uh, British made. They're not the most reliable car in the world, but they look the nuts. So we're back at our stand. Let's go have a chat with Raj and get him to talk about the new Cosy. Raj, what's going on? What's happening? All right? All right. Um, should we have a chat about the Cosy? Yeah, let's do it. Give you that. Fun then. Great show, isn't it? Yeah? Oh, yeah. Wicked show, yeah. Is this the first time you've come to Westside? This is my first Westside show. So we've been coming to Westside now. I think the show's been going 12, 13, 14 years. And we've been here since the first show. Yeah. And every year, it just gets bigger and better. The Cosy. Cosy, uh, latest acquisition, 1996 Ford Escort RS Cosworth, finished in Aurelis Blue. If you've not seen the video, I'm sure there'll be a link in the description. Yeah, we'll the video down below. So we've got uh, LTO with us. So LTO, so this week, Palms uh, made a few changes to the wheel setup, yeah. which I think has transformed the car. Just the aero disc and the slightly bigger wheel with the deeper dish on the back yeah. has transformed the car. Yeah, yeah, this hard. is now uh, running an E36M3 lump yep. and it's running exceptionally well. Yeah. Great car. Um, E36M3, early performance, uh, jitsu wheels, which we had to do a little bit of modification on, on the back recently because I yeah. wasn't happy with the way we're sitting. Yeah, There's yeah. too much camber on the back and I don't like running too much negative camber. Fantastic car, uh, M3 Evo, so it's got a lightweight aluminium doors. Uh, don't really use this car that much, I don't know why. It doesn't come out that often, does it? Lovely car. Um, then we've got the E24 yep. 635 CSI. Again, airlift performance, uh, article wheels stepped up. The wheels on this, the 8 Series and the 36 were built up by uh, Voodoo Motorsport, yep. Ellie. Yeah, yeah, Ellie uh, yeah. Beautiful car, this has been probably in the shop the most on the plinth because yep. it just looks Absolutely it's amazing. A bad boy car, right? I think we'll Sharp probably nose. get this in the shop for a while. Yeah. Uh, so if you guys want to see the, the 36, it'll be in the shop for a little while. 
performance. Um, E31, 840Ci, again, early performance. Uh, OEM BBS wheels, which were stepped up. Uh, again, wheels built by Voodoo Motorsport. Fantastic car, 4.4 V8. Uh, two GT Tourers. You know, that's your 80s GT Tourer, that's your 90s GT Tourer. To be fair, this is probably the better car because it's got a bit more power. Yeah. Even though it's a 3.5, it's just a bit sluggish. Um, that 4.4 V8 in there. Yeah, just I know which one I'd rather choose. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then my 993 Turbo, which is just an amazing car. The mentalist. Uh, that's running KW Variant 3s yeah. on 18 inch road from KLUs. Um, it's not much I've done to this car by the suspension and wheels. Okay, I've painted it. You don't but, need to do much yeah, already with this. this but is... these cars are quick out of the blocks yeah. anyway. And then finally, we have my 992 GT3 here. Finished in crayon. I've had this car a year. It's stock, I've not done anything to it. Uh, it's now officially up for sale because I've got my RS arriving in December. So one. this is going and the RS will replace it. And over there, which we forgot to come, oh, yeah. in the discover, is our shop uh, G82 M3, uh, which Palms bought today. And that's on air lift performance, straight from wheels. Are there 20s on that? Yes. 20s. Yeah, yeah. And Palms just changed the front grille only recently to the CSL type grille. So yeah. that's a quick overview of the cars. We've got cars here today, right? Yeah, it's all that. Nine, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Eight cars, eight cars. Eight so cars plus the caddy. Eight cars plus the, the shop caddy. Yeah, the shop caddy. Um, so it's a local show for us. Uh, we get here in 20 minutes from Hayes. And we've always supported Westside. So yeah. That's why we always tend to bring quiet. This is a good one as well, because it's just outside of Ules as well. Yeah. So yeah, well, it's bring... outside of Ules, but the cars are in Ules. So yeah. all of these cars I've had to pay Ules. Which yeah, we've come from inside Ules yeah, to bummer. outside Ules. <laughs> but yeah, so um, that's these cars covered. I'm going to leave play to carry on showing you what else is here because, as I said earlier, I love the fact that this show gets bigger and bigger. Yeah. Well, it originally was called Westside VW, yeah. but now it's called Westside Show. Yeah. Although it's still predominantly van, yeah, there's a lot of BMs and a lot of Mercs, a lot of classics. So, guys, um, thanks for watching from my point. From my perspective, thanks for watching. I leave you in the hands of Blade, and he'll Sweet. carry on showing you what else is here. That's nice one. one. Sweet. Cheers, Cheers. Nice. Thank you. All right. Let's get going. of the field here is for the VWs. Now Westside was a predominantly VW uh, car show, it was only VWs, but they've opened it up to everyone else to make it a bit of a more inclusive car show, but they've still got so many VWs here. I mean, if you just look around, it's literally the, the whole rest of the field here is just VWs. All right, so we're at the Mark 1 section. We're gonna start from Mark 1 and work our way up. They've got loads and loads of different examples of the Mark 1 Golf. I mean, it's a beautiful car, it's a classic. It can't really go wrong. Um, easiest way to tell for Mark 1 Golf is their tiny size, usually. Uh, most of the time they're going to have two single headlights um, and then just their very small boxy chassis. That's my way of looking at uh, Mark 1 Golf. Right, so we're on the Mark 2 side now. Um, loads, again, loads of really nice examples of Mark 2. Mark 2s are my personal favourite of the older generation of Golfs. So you've got really nice examples here. Obviously, most of these will have VR6 swaps in them, which is most the most popular <laughs> option for these cars. But yeah, really, really nice. Obviously, the difference between the Mark 1 and Mark 2s, Mark 2s tend to be quite a bit bigger. Um, and Mark 2s sometimes have four headlights rather than two, but some of them have square headlights like these ones, like the G60s have square headlights. Got a really nice example like this one, G60, the nice arches, BBS wheels, really, really nice examples. So this side we've got the Mark 3s. So Mark 3s are a completely different look. You'll always tell a Mark 3 from a Mark 2. Obviously, it's a completely different chassis. Uh, they changed the car completely, but the good thing is with the Mark 3s, they started here with the VR6. VR6 is such a sought after and classic engine that everyone loves. Everyone loves the sound of a VR6, so you can't really go wrong. Personally, not my favorite chassis in terms of looks, uh, but platform-wise, they're, they're really good, easy to tune, 
and just a, a, a fantastic platform to be fair. Now onto the Mark IV. Mark IV has probably got the biggest following of them all. Um, the, they're kind of completely changed the style from the Mark III to the Mark IV again. They still kept that boxy style, but it's just got basically really fat. Um, they've got the uh, R32 in this shape. Um, I mean, there's die-hard fans of the Mark IV Golfs. You, you can't steer them away from them. Again, not my favorite chassis, but they're so tunable. You've got the GTI with the 1.8 turbo, and the R32 with the 3.2. Um, but yeah, it's, it's such a good platform to work on, and really easy to modify as well. Right, so we're here with the Mark Vs now. Now, I used to have a Mark V. It was a diesel, but I'd done quite a lot of modification to it. Leave me be. Um, but yeah, Mark Vs, they changed the shape completely again, but to a more curvy shape. So they've they've gone to the bubbly style rather than the square boxy style, which a lot of people didn't like at the time, but I know it's grown on a lot of people. I mean, there's, there's loads here, all the way along here. You've got GTIs, you've got R32s, you've got a, a Edition 30s. There's loads and loads of different styles on a Mark V Golf. And then finally, you've got the Mark 7s. Um, I'm not sure why they skipped the Mark VI in this show. Uh, maybe there wasn't enough applicants, I'm not sure why, but uh, I personally had a Mark VI GTI and I loved it, but we'll, we'll skip past that. Mark VII's, the one down from the newest generation, we have the Mark VIII, but there's, no, there's none here unfortunately, but um, Mark VII's are everywhere at the moment. You'll see a Mark VII Golf R probably five times driving to work, I know I do, um, but it, it just goes to show how popular they are and how sought after they are, everyone's after these. But yeah, really good styling, they completely changed it from the Mark VI and the Mark V. Mark VI and Mark V were basically the same car, I'd say, uh, the Mark VI was just a little bit smoother, I would say, I'm not sure. The Mark 7, they they went to, I would probably say a combination of the boxy style and the curvy style. So they've got quite a lot of angles going on, but obviously the highest performing cars of them all, Golf R, like 300 brake out of the box, you can't go wrong with that. Um, so yeah, good car. I'm sorry, I'm going to do a Japanese car, unfortunately. Uh, EG Hatch, this has got the B18 engine with a turbo strap to it. The reason why I know this is, I have this engine in one of my cars. But yeah, this thing is like 400 brake, I believe. Absolutely rapid um, and still front wheel drive. So I don't know how it keeps power down, but it does somehow. <laughs> Oh, look what I found. It's Palm. Oh, Palm, what's going on? <laughs> what's happening? All right. What's up, guys? Uh, I'll give you that. Oh, nice, yeah. You can do some talking if you want. What are you looking at? Mate, I've just, uh, so this is a, custom, this belongs to custom colors. Oh, okay, um, yeah, yeah. E21. Yeah. It's got a group five kind of remade body kit on it. It's massive, isn't it? You know what? I thought LTO was wide. Yeah. But this takes wide to a next level. Yeah, well, this is wide and long as well. Mate. This is insane. Obviously, it's running full airlift management. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. actually really nicely matted in the rear window. Come oh, right, yeah. Look. Look, so all the interior stripped out. Oh, yeah. Hey, proper track car, isn't it? This is sick. I, lo I love what they've done with the manifold in the rear window. Oh, that's, that's pretty sick. cool. So they've just mounted it on the on the brace there. Yep. With a little mount. That's cool. And they've done the hard lines into the yeah. shelf. That's yeah. cool. That wing is hench, though, isn't it? That's, yeah, you don't, you don't want to get caught on that. <laughs> oh. But yeah, that's, that's amazing. Alright, cool. Oh, look. That's another. Yeah, air ducts. Done properly. Yeah, proper. Hey, mate, Colin, sure. Colin's gone all out on this car. Yeah. Colin runs custom colours. Okay. And um, yeah, he's gone all out on this. And this is not even a wrap, this is paint. No. This is painted. So for those of you thinking that this is a wrap, no. This is fully painted. Wow. Some serious work gone into this. Defo, defo. I love it, it's, it's amazing. Cool. Alright, bro. Oh, thank you very much. Right, you can have that back now. Yeah, nice one. Thank you. <laughs> we'll carry on. Cool. Right, guys, so that is it. We're packing down now. That's the end of the show. The sun's finally come out and it's a little bit windy but the weather's been okay a massive array of different vehicles here today so it's been really really good and also if there's any particular style of vehicles any genre or a particular car in general that we've not had on the channel and you want us to 
show it on the channel, then please drop it in the comments below. Right, so we're just dropping the tents down, we're loading up the van, and then we're gonna head back to Cass HQ. So we'll see you back there. Right, so we're back at Cass HQ. Cars have been put away in the garage and we're back to work. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Uh, make sure you like, share and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.